this refuge takes on many abandoned animals in need. And it's run by a devoted carer named Janice. But it's her capybara, Cheesecake, who's the star of the show. She may be the world's largest species of rodent, but she's also an excellent foster mum to a litter of puppies. So how did this scenario arise, Janice? I mean, this capybara is surrounded by, I don't know how many puppies, I've lost count. Yes, it's just one day I had a litter of orphan puppies that yeah. uh, were ready to move out of the house and this was the most secure pen for a little puppy. And uh, I knew she was social with other animals and she took right to it and she, she's had every litter since. And. Uh, so how many litters has she had? Well, this year alone, she's on number four, and then there's another one coming up soon, so. So you get, unfortunately, a lot of puppies given to I, you from abandoned litters? I rescue a lot of pregnant mamas, or mamas that just have given birth that are in dire straits and okay. nowhere to go, and uh, it's one of the specialties I do with okay. special needs animals. So it's an unfortunate situation, but when you say that the capybara mothers these pups, what do you mean? Uh, she sleeps with them. She she eats with them. She'll she'll uh, they they'll play with her. They'll groom her, and she seems to enjoy it. I think she just has kind of that aura around her that that makes them feel safe and secure. Cheesecake has never had her own young, but being a capybara, she knows exactly what to do with this lot. In the wild, capybara help to look after each other's young, sharing the parenting duties. And what she's demonstrating is just how powerful that mothering instinct is. So perhaps Cheesecake here, in this captive situation, has become such an excellent foster mother because her natural instincts to take care of little ones have kicked in. And I'm taking that one home. You know that, don't you? Yeah, you can have that Good one. Good stuff. 